Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a DVR to the Ishin EV100 without having the need to disassemble the goggles. Not that it's so complicated, but first of all, it's going to void the warranty. And second of all, things can go wrong. So the mod I have for you is a more plug and play one. You may know that there is an upcoming DVR from Ishin that is going to be plug and play, but it hasn't been released yet and I need to take these goggles outside and compare the DVR quality, so I've decided to mod it and hopefully you will find my video useful as well. In order to mod the goggles, you will need to get a couple of things. First of all, the Ishin Pro DVR, a 3.5 millimeters video connector. I'm going to use only the ground and the video. I'm not going to use the audio right and the audio left. A 2S balance connector. I'm going to use this 4S one, but I'm not going to use all the pins. And a 5 volts BEC. In order to power the DVR, I'm going to use this balance connector. This is not a real balance connector because they are only ground and DC in. So what I've done, I've soldered the ground and the 5 volts to this BEC and I made sure its output is 5 volts. Then in order to power it off, you will need to just connect it together. On the other side, I connected the DVR connectors, the ground and the 5 volts over here. And over here is the video connector. I connected it to the ground and the video in. And all you need to do is just connect it to this port over here. So the farther left is the DC in, then ground, then video in and then the ground of the video and you can see now that the DVR is working. In order to show that it works I'm going to connect this connector that will output video using this auxiliary output and we need to connect this 3.5 millimeters jack to the port over here and we have to power the goggles. Now I've connected my goggles into the TV. I've connected the video out from the Pro DVR. Now I'm scanning for the best signal after connecting the quadcopter and you can see we found the best signal and it's working. If I want to record the video, all I have to do is just press this button. The DVR is going to start blinking and we can see on the screen that the DVR is recording. We can also access the menu button by long pressing the button in the middle and then we can change all the settings. If you would like to output the DVR video to the goggles, you will need to use another 3.5 millimeter connector and use it with this port. Because there is only one connector that double acts also as the video in and the video out, you won't be able to do it simultaneously. So you'll have to switch it and enter the AV in mode by long pressing the button over here. I'm still testing the goggles out. I'm going to use this mode in order to compare the receiver with my fetch out goggles. I'm going to release the full review soon after we'll have some more experience with these goggles so I can give you more educated answers. As always, I thank you for watching this video and I hope that you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.